Clarion University is celebrating 150 years in 2017 as a second home to its students. Through these years, many changes have been made in the campus appearance to benefit incoming students from refurbs and refreshes to teardowns and buildups. Clarion University is a beautiful, what I call classic American college in a wonderful classic American college town. How students feel when they tour campus has a big part in the remodeling of dorms, buildings, and more. You can tell that the university is trying to figure out a positive way to evolutionize the university and have it appeal to the younger audience to be able to live in sweet buildings wherever they're at and be able to live comfortably and have an atmosphere where they feel like they're rewarded for being Clarion students. So how you feel as you're walking across let's say the academic quad around the library, or how you feel about being in the student center in Gimmel, or as you're touring a place that you might be living in, like the suites on Main, I think uh, students should, prospective students should be asking themselves, is this my place? Do I feel good here? Do I feel safe here? Do I feel wanted here? Plans, my home away from home. The new suites, they're very, very nice. It's about the academics first. Then it's about the overall campus experience and how each of you all relate to it. I mean, really, a university needs a balance. You kind of want to hold on to your past, but yet you want to embrace the future. You want to do both in your buildings. So we're always making repairs. We're always making additions. We're always adding things. We're always taking things away. And, and you do that to keep it fresh and interesting. And also, let's be clear that it also supports the academic programs. the last three years, we spent about $48 million to completely refurb Beck Hall. And they actually gutted the whole building and there was one point that nothing was holding the building up except these poles in the building. And then they rebuilt from the inside into a very modern building that's dedicated to student success from recruitment to financial services to mentoring and tutoring and advising, health care and counseling. Uh, that was about 42 million. Then we had the new housing, the suites on Main, which was about 60 million. So that was about 100 million. And now we're, we're in the design stages of a whole refurb on Tip and Gym, which is our indoor intercollegiate athletic complex. And that'll also be probably an additional 47 million. Now we're working with the State Department of General Services and working to design it and hopefully after that we'll uh, be able to put it out to bid and then after we've put it out to bid if there is someone who can work with our budget then we'll begin the refurbing of Tiffin. We're going to be celebrating 150 years, so we've been building and tearing down things for 150 years. But most recently, we tore down Wilk and Nair, which were uh, two towers that uh, were replaced with the new housing on Main Street. So we're a very environmentally sustainable campus. We have, uh, for both Becht Hall and the housing, uh, we're using what's called a geothermal source of energy to kind of reduce the amount of electricity we need to heat and cool both Becht Hall and housing. Along with the new suites on Main, the Gemmel Student Complex was renovated as well. Gemmel was what I would call more of a refresh, uh, where you got the interiors uh, materials were refreshed with new carpeting, new painting, new furniture, and some new lighting. The given Ballantyne and Egbert buildings are still physically stable, but are unoccupied. We need them for student residences. The, the suites that we have and just opened are more than enough for enrollment. So we didn't want to eliminate the buildings and tear them down, but we don't have a current use for them. The public safety building is now located next to the Eagle Commons Dining Hall. The feeling was that that was a better location for the police to work out of than where they were before. It's, it's easier to find, there's more parking, it's more visible. So we believe that that would help the police be more effective to be in that building. Clarion University will continue to expand and modernize its appearance as the years continue. The emphasis on what I call, you know, Golden Eagle Pride. Being courageous and confident, let's fly Eagles fly.